Welcome once again to Hoi Lan Reservoir and the Wienping Free Flying Birds Independent Club. I think that's how they say it. Absolutely wonderful event. Uh, every Sunday here they gather somewhere between 4.30 and 6.30ish. Um, today uh, they're slightly later because the, you know, the evenings are getting longer. So uh, they're coming up along later. So uh, right now it's uh, after five. So uh, they haven't all arrived yet, and there are many birds here already, but there are still some to come. They haven't uh, opened the cage door for, uh, they haven't lined all the, the birds up to fly off in, in uh, formation yet. So uh, it's early yet. It's a lovely event, just to see all the color of these birds. Wow, big macaw just flew straight behind me here. You know, if you're stood here, uh, you've got to be prepared because a bird just might land on your shoulder or on your head. And, uh, you know, you're not expecting an all... And as I said it, I couldn't have timed that better, could I? There's a the little monkey there, look. There he is. Wow. You couldn't write this stuff, could you? Absolutely wonderful. So, um, yeah, these guys, you've got to be prepared for them to jump on your head and um, land on your shoulder at any moment, <laughs> let alone poop on your shoulder as well. But um, I'll hang around and see if we can get some nice views of them all uh, flying off in formation. On the far side there, you can see a long white strip. That's the cattle. They're all on their way back home. They've been in the forest all day and by the look of it there's a motorbike riding with them the herder for anybody interested on the 2nd and 3rd of july in four weeks time um, over there uh, in that little dip there there'll be a bung fai the rocket festival it's held there every year except for the last two because of the big sea and uh, you get to it by literally driving along this road here and then along through the forest area there and it's a real uh, weekend of entertainment it's uh, well recommended so put that in your diary for saturday and sunday the second and third of july <coughs> <coughs> I'll share a poster uh, in this video uh, that the group uh, share on their Facebook page. It invites people to come along. Uh, it, it's free. You don't have to pay anything to come along and take a photo. All you need to do is pay 20 baht at the entrance of this uh, Hoi Lan uh, reservoir area. Uh, you can just come along and uh, just watch the birds fly. Bring your birds and uh, sh share their free flying experience um, chit chat with other people who have got their birds here as well and enjoy free flying birds out and about here in the countryside near San Kampeng. it's only 10 minutes out of the city out of well 20 minutes out of Chiang Mai city it's a lovely afternoon uh, place to come sit by the water people have picnics and um, you know drink coffee by the water bring your own and um, it's it, it's a lovely place <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, just blue contrast against that green. <laughs> well, this is what we experienced on a previous occasion whereby the, the wind is blowing from behind and when you get below this dam wall the, the wind doesn't give them their lift. 
so they have to fight to get up. Oh, really fight, 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 fight. Oh. Well, what happens here is the wind is actually coming across the water and it hits this dam reservoir wall and then rises up. It's a bit like an aircraft, you know, where you've seen these images of uh, simulations of the wind rising. And then here, behind the wall, it's very calm. So when the birds go down there, if they go down, uh, if they don't go out there far enough and then elevate, they find it very difficult to come back up on top because they're... <sighs> You know, their muscles aren't fantastic because they only fly occasionally and they're struggling to get up and these large birds, you'll see them, they almost come in to hit the ground here because they are uh, struggling to find that, um, that lift uh, as they hit this wall coming back up. So, yeah, it's difficult. Out there and up is always the better way. I'm not a bird. I don't know these things. It's just, you know, maybe the logic of it, the physics of it. It's got to be uh, what's happening. I'm just assuming it. So, um, you know, I'm just a human. Lovely blue colour against that green. They go for short flights around here. They just go for, uh, out across the green and then across the water as well into the wind. As you can see in the distance, there's some rain falling. That is on the uh, other side of San Kampeng. So Chiang Mai City uh, would have had that because um, it's moved on through this, this way. Chiang Mai City is around about um, 30 kilometers, well, 40 kilometers that way over the, the other side of that uh, small mountain range there. But, uh, lovely clouds in the sky this evening as the sun goes down over there highlighting this wonderful mountain up here. This is uh, a place that you can come and trek. Um, if you go up beyond this tree line here, there's another mini reservoir at the back there. You can leave your car and you can actually find a pathway up to the top. Uh, if you look at something like um, Trails or something like that, it's an app or other websites, they can give you uh, routes to to actually follow to go up there. It's um, oh, nearly an accident with a bird. Um, it, it, it's quite an intensive walk up and uh, it's not for the faint hearted. This guy's just come for the first time to watch the birds. He's got a lovely little parakeet on his shoulder. It's really cute. They just hop on your shoulder and then enjoy just chatting in your ear. They're all playing follow the leader again, uh, apart from these three over here. <laughs> There's three that have decided to take a different way home. Isn't that a lovely sight? Lovely sound as well. going to be a lovely evening storm. Uh, by the look of it, Chiang Mai city has already been receiving some of it and uh, my home is over the far side there as well. But uh, many people have left home this evening or this afternoon and come out and enjoying the side of the water. <laughs> over the far distance there on the other side of the reservoir there's actually a party going on and they've got karaoke and they're singing their hearts out. It's lovely. People are still arriving. Individuals, it's not one big organised event. It's just individuals coming out for a picnic and sitting under a, under a little gazebo or parking up by the side of the road with their little stands. Well, thanks for joining me here out at Hoi Lan with the Wing Ping Free Flying Birds Independent Club. Uh, it's been an interesting afternoon. Uh, there's not so many birds here and uh, I, there's been a few circuits around but uh, there's not so many smaller birds to let off and release all at once but uh, never mind the colours of these big guys and the noise they make and how they jump on your head is, is uh, exciting enough. 
Anyway, until the next time, I wish you well. And uh, as I keep saying, thank you for watching my videos. Take care. Bye-bye.